This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm at 1632 Wilton Road. Wilton Road is in beautiful Petersburg, Virginia in the Walnut Hill subdivision. This subdivision is very desirable here in Petersburg. Uh, directly across the street, uh, we have uh, some other brick homes. Uh, this home, which is across from our subject property, is undergoing renovation. So hopefully it'll be online soon, uh, looking really, really good, and some other well-maintained homes there in the distance. This home is newly renovated, and my sellers have done some amazing upgrades to it. Uh, I was in this home before it was renovated, and uh, they definitely have transformed it. It does feature a two-car garage, and we even have a whole house generator. Now, most people don't get excited about whole house generators. However, if we have a winter storm and the neighborhood loses power for four or five days, you will be the envy of the neighborhood. That generator is right there in the middle of the frame it kicks on if power is lost this home also features an amazing patio we're actually going to go back there and take a look at it so you can see exactly what it looks like this is a nice open lot but we do have some privacy here as you can see uh, with the wooded areas the home does feature replacement windows fresh paint and there it is we've got a sunken patio an amazing space we also have a grill right over there in the middle of the frame. If you're the type of person that likes to throw some meat on the grill, or if you're a vegetarian, I guess you can grill veg vegetables too. Uh, that is a great place to do so and entertain friends and family. The home does have a basement. And of course, basements in this area are fairly rare, but that space is very well utilized here uh, in this home. We have a door there that does go down to the basement. The other thing I love about this home is we have this amazing window and you will see inside exactly what I mean. The home does have a unique floor plan and uh, I think a lot of people would love to call this home home. As we come in, we have nice open foyer space. There is some natural light that flows in through those three windows. Our stairs, of course, going up and directly back is going to take us down and then to the rear of the home. Here at the front, we do have a nice size coat closet, a super convenient. There's LVP on the floor and we're actually going to start here on our left. We are going to go down into what I'm going to call the rec room and you can see it is currently staged by Hardesty Homes. Uh, they do a great job of helping to bring these homes to life. We've got good space down here, natural light. Uh, if you are entertaining, a great place for friends and family to gather. Directly ahead is going to be our utility room. Now, I love this space because it is large, excellent for storage. We have connections there for your washer dryer. Uh, in the distance, that's going to be our box for our 200 amp electrical and for our whole house generator. The generator has its own box and uh, it is located right there. The door that we saw outside is directly ahead and this is going to be our newer gas furnace with central air. Uh, and it is running, it's keeping this house nice and cool right now. All right, so great space here in this unfinished area. We're now going to go up and I'm going to show you our two car attached garage and it is directly ahead this is a neat space for a couple reasons number one is it is on a motion sensor that light just came on by itself which is super convenient uh, we do have a little nook here to the right this is a great place if you wanted to put like a workshop table or some shelving you could do that and keep it off of the main floor space here uh, where a lot of people of course would park their vehicles we're going to go back in and then to the right is going to be our powder room. Our powder room is nice and long, uh, nice and bright as well. So that's a great space. Our door directly ahead, that's of course gonna take us out to the patio area that we just saw. All right, I hope you love what you see so far. Uh, we are going to go up now to our family room and kitchen level. We've got nice wide steps here. This is a really, nice size staircase if you're coming in with groceries you won't have any problem with uh, bags on both sides and you can uh, navigate up those stairs with no problem i love this because 
not only is it huge and makes you feel like you're outdoors, but we also have sliders and there's a screen there. So you can actually open this up and make it feel like you are truly outdoors. The other beautiful thing is we have replacement windows in the back that you could also open and get a nice cross breeze. So if it's not too hot and you don't want to turn on the AC, you can of course do so. In those winter months, there you go. You've got your wood burning fireplace right there. Gorgeous open floor plan here in this beautiful level. Let's go a little closer here in our kitchen. Our kitchen does feature the granite island. You got enough space for two seats there. All the appliances that you see do convey and they are uh, in place whirlpool appliances. Uh, this granite species is absolutely beautiful. We've got the nice double bowl sink. I also mentioned earlier that we've got these replacement windows and this one is nice and long. Uh, we do have that screen in place so you could sit here and uh, actually if you were cooking you could actually almost supervise the meat on the grill right here from the kitchen. How convenient. You might need binoculars but um, if you have a, a, a motivation to do so I'm sure you can figure out a way to make it happen. All right let's go on up to our bedroom level. This is a brand new carpet and to the left is going to be our hall bath. Hall bath is white and bright. We have a stand up shower here, dual shower heads. We actually even have a seat in there and look at all these grab bars. You are not going to fall in this shower. Uh, if you get a little tired, you've got that seat that can fold up as well. Uh, more grab bars here in this section. And of course our window, nice big mirror. And uh, once again, plenty of light here in this bathroom. Okay. Our linen closet right here, convenient, of course, to the bathroom. And to my right is going to be bedroom number one. That is a queen size bed that's currently in place. You can see we've got a good amount of space, nice big window. Once again, we've got a full size closet. That's probably about six or seven feet. As we transition down the hallway, this next space is interesting because we have a bedroom here. This is going to be uh, probably the most conservative of the bedrooms. Uh, nice big window. And then we have this sliding door. This sliding door goes all the way across and will completely close off that wall. So what that gives us is a independent bedroom here. And then if we were to close that door, we're now in a second bedroom. So they currently have this one staged as a home office and we've got plenty of window light here in this one, one there on the front and then one here on the side. So these could be two bedrooms or the door could be opened up for one. We do have a closet here to make it a legitimate independent bedroom if you decided to close that door off. All right, love what they have done here. Now let's go see the primary. And here she is. Wow, what a great job. One of the things that I love about this space, other than it being a nice, generous primary, is that we have not one, but two closets. Homes built in this era typically did not have two closets. So that's gonna be a big plus here on an older home. Directly ahead, of course, is our main closet. And it is about uh, six or seven feet as well. A little access panel up there. And our ensuite is directly ahead. It is nice and bright. We've got a tile there on the wall, a window in place and a stand up shower. So they did a really good job of giving us a good bedroom bathroom count here in this home. Very hard to do all of this renovated with a two car garage for under 300,000. Remember there's a hundred percent financing available. There's grant money available for first time buyers. Uh, we can make this really, really easy from a financial standpoint. If you have any questions about this or any other home in the market, my name is Max Williams. It would be an honor to help. I can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Area Foreclosures, on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.